Ever wonder how robotic devices can make your life easier, more fun, or even solve problems? Well, get ready to become robotics engineers. In this video, we will show you an example robotics device we designed that solves a problem and enhances an everyday experience. Here is our sound sensing chime. This is a tool that a teacher would use to check the loudness of a classroom. If the noise level of the class gets too loud, the LED light will light up red. And this motor will hit the chime to let the students know to decrease their volume. Here is the sound sensor that senses sound waves around the room. This is the input of the robot. It is where the information, in this case the sound waves, goes into the robotic device. The sound waves are then converted or changed into electrical signals and then sent or transferred to the microcontroller, this little mini computer. The microcontroller then calculates the intensity of the sound and sends the information to the LED. Based on how loud the sound is, the LED will light up a specific color. If it's green, then it's quiet, yellow for moderate, and red for too loud. If the sound intensity in the classroom is too loud, the microcontroller, our mini computer, will tell the output which is the servo motor to turn and make the small little mallet hit the chime. So to summarize, we have the input, the sound sensor, that sends information to the microcontroller and then to the output, the servo motor that makes the mallet hit the chime. I also wanted to make sure that my sound sensor would be able to sense sound from across the room. So I decided to do some research and see where in nature I can copy, specifically copy an animal. This copying of nature to then use in my design is called nature inspired design. After some research, I found out that bats have ear structures that they use to capture sound waves effectively for echolocation, which helps them to navigate and find food in the dark to survive. I decided to create a bat ear shaped extension that amplifies sound for my sound sensor by acting as a funnel. It collects sound waves from the environment and directs them towards the sensor's opening. The sound sensing chime has an additional way it copies animals. Can you figure out what else I copied from animals for my sound sensing chime? Pause the video and share your guesses. I copy the process in which animals senses and receives information through their organs, like their eyes, ears, and skin, to then send the information to the brain. The brain then processes this information or makes sense of the information. So for example, for a cat, it can receive light information through its eyes. Let's say the cat sees potential danger. That information is then sent to the brain, and as a result, an output, where the brain tells the legs of the cat to help move it away from danger. This is very similar to how robots work. They have inputs that come from sensors that then get sent to the computer, kind of like the brain of the robot, which then results in an output where the servo motor makes the mallet hit the chime. Currently, I'm using batteries to power my robot, but I think in the future, I could design something that uses solar panels that would convert light, a natural resource, into energy to power my robot. 